Its missiles of Chapel and Davis, McCosker and Hooks added 52 by stumps. Australia trails by nine runs with eight wickets in hand and two days to play. It's Bob Willis bowling and McCosker is the batsman. a chance who was bouncing in front of uh, Tony Gregg and Mike Brealy. Four runs to Rick Makoska takes him on to 44. Not a particularly good hook shot that one. And he's got away with it and it's gone for four but uh, look to me as though he wasn't in proper position for that is 50 but uh, he's having a long suspicious look at the pitch there I don't think the pitcher is to blame well, there's a shout there from Hendrick I'm not surprised because McCosker took that uh, well if not from middle and off uh, certainly from round about middle and leg Chop down, uh, find a third man. Uh, that's the first time, really, that uh, we've seen a serious error outside the off stump from Young Hooks. Just lost his concentration. It was uh, wide and drifting away. Well, there's a big shout going on there, but. Uh, I think again that ball was angled across the left hander this time. He was pigging away, that's all he can hope to do now. It's a fine uh, exhibition of how to bowl on a good pitch. And that's a lot closer, and out goes the finger and he's out. That looked, my word, that looked a good deal closer. And full marks to Mike Hendrick for making the breakthrough. He's plugged away, he's got the wicket that he fully deserved with Davis Hooks falling LBW to him for 42. So the third Australian wicket down at 154. That was really close. That was well bowled to Mike Hendrick. looking for good shot first one really that's been up in the slot for uh, Mikoska I was in the air but uh, Ian Botham out of his reach and it went between him and Hendrick. That's where he's very strong indeed. Bob Woolmer is the man doing the chasing. It's a fast outfield there and the ball runs down the hill. It was very difficult for the field to the cut off. Any strokes in that area. So the 200 coming up from Australia, that uh, single from Walters. Five and a half hours, that uh, 200 is taken. Well, that'll go through all right. Go through extra cover for four. Glorious shot. A little bit of the uh, vintage Walters there. We'll crack through there to bring up the 50 partnership between these two. And that's out. It's taken by Randall at cover. Beautiful low 
catch, driven hard. Dougie Walters again, missing out just a shade earlier there on that cover drive, trying to repeat the one he made so gloriously earlier in the over. So Walters goes for 28, caught by Randall off the bowling of Greg. And the fourth wicket goes down at 204. Australia has added one more run to be four for 205. McCosker is playing what appears to be a lone hand at 85 not out. He faces deposed England captain Tony Gregg. Well, he can do it, the fieldsman. He'll uh, be battling to cut that off. It's really quick down that side of the ground. Well, that's nicely placed. That was a better shot than the one before. That's racing away down to the boundary. And McCosker now goes on to 94. It's uh, short of Hendrick at third slip and it's four runs. Wasn't a chance. 223 for four now, Australia. Last man out was Walters, 28. Robinson is on five, and McCosker facing Willis on 99. It's a lovely hook for four, a glorious stroke. In fact, it might have gone over, it has gone over the top, according to Dickie Bird. He got under that, so what a lovely way to answer the thought that he shouldn't be in this side. He's gone from 99 to 105. A marvellous comeback for Rick McCosker. Good shot from Robinson. That in swinger just drifting a little bit too far down the leg side. Mike Brealy at first slip has handled things very well for England, not only in this game but in the series. But uh, just at this moment, I should think, uh, trying to put myself in his shoes, that. Uh, a little bit of speculation going on about how much the Australian lead might build up by the close of play. And that is out, and Greeley's the man who's got the breakthrough. And any speculation he might have had has now turned into sheer pleasure. Because Australia, with 119 runs as a lead, now have only five wickets in hand. With the cost of court, really. Paul Willis for 107. Rodney Marsh facing Bob Willis. Now you will never see a better catch than that in this series, and perhaps not in any other series either. Tony Gray, an absolutely magnificent catch at second slip. Rodney Marsh is out for naught to complete for him. A very, very unfortunate match. Australians really struggling now at 240 for six. The lead 119. Pleasant half volley there for Robinson and with only Randall in front on the offside. It's hurrying away to find leg warmer, no chance of stopping that, and it's four runs.
managed to whip that away fine. And a miracle how he got it so fine. And the Australians will be looking for at least a 200 run lead, which you mean they need to get up to 321. First seven balls from Underwood after T have uh, produced nothing but trouble for Richie Robinson. Spin, a little bit of extra lift. And a shot. He's given him out. Got to go down here. That must have hit the bat first. That uh, must have hit the pad first and then hit the bat because it certainly came off the bat out, out onto the offside. Uh, Richie Robinson out for 34 LBW to Underwood. gone straight through to the boundary at the far end of the ground. The awkward bounce both for keeper and slip. That's beautifully bold. A lucky little nick for Max Walker. Little inside edge past the leg stump. Takes Max Walker off the mark. The keep is six. A full run is from a, a firm footed stroke. I don't think he moved his feet one inch. So Underwood's going to really put the pressure on Max Walker now, sticking to this over the wicket attack, looking for the odd uh, rough patch. And Max Walker surrounded by slipper gully, a silly point and two short legs. And gives him the best possible answer, drives him very firmly through mid on for four. Well, that's been a rarity today. Underwood being put away for four. That's slow down again. Motor out to midwicket this time by Walker. A real Sunday afternoon shot. It paid dividends. He struck it very firmly and well right in the middle of the bat. Before. Four overthrows, uh, one in by Derek Randall. And the applause not for the throw, but the fact that the 300 goes up. And it's bowling. So Willis takes another vital wicket. That goes to leg stump. Walker is out for 17. And Bob Wallace continuing his wonderful work in this match. That's his fourth wicket out of the eight that are down with a total on 307. And he comes again to Jeff Thompson. And he's bowling. Oh, it's tremendous work this by Bob Wallace. Thompson out for naught. Willis takes his fifth wicket of this innings. So England riding high now, 308 for nine. And that's it, he's caught it. Hendrick takes a catch, Pasco goes, Underwood wraps up the Australian. And ends all out for 309. Australia is all out for 309, with McCosker scoring 107. Hooks was next best with 42. Bob Willis has taken five wickets, giving him 19 for the series so far. England requires 189 to win, and they must bat for 25 minutes till stumps. 
Thompson bowls the first over to Brealey. That's a good shot from Paul. to boycott it was uh, off a thick outside edge but it didn't go in the air it was bouncing away through the slip cordon I think that's missing leg stump it's worth a shout Last ball of the day, Jeff Boycott's got it off the inside edge and England finished 17 without loss. Boycott is 12, really 5 and they need tomorrow 172 to win the third test match.